Good morning, everyone. It's about 1.15 in the morning here on October the 1st, 2021. It's Friday morning. And I have a question for us this morning. And that question is, whose side are we on? Whose side are we on? We can look at the two sides that are in a battle. On the one side, we have truth found in the person of Jesus Christ. Came to this earth 2,000 years ago for one purpose, and that was to save his people from their sins. And he hung on a cruel and rugged cross. And he said, it is finished. He ascended back to heaven. And he promised to come back in the same manner that he went. On the other side, we have those who are opposed to truth, opposed to Christ. They are on Satan's side. They mock and scorn Jesus Christ. They claim that he was a fraud. And they say that... Many say that that Lucifer is the one true God. Also, many of those who are on Satan's side are embracing evil, the darkest evil imaginable, pedophilic behavior, all kinds of perversion, they are dependent upon drugs, alcohol, immoral sexual activity, and um, they are raging warfare against those who are true Christians. Who is on the Lord's side? Answer now the call. Who is on the Lord's side? Who will give their all? (laughs) Well, we have been either recipients of God's grace or we have not. We have tasted and seen that the Lord is good or we have not. We have been forgiven through the shed blood of Christ and been given the imputed righteousness of Christ or we have not. We are opposing Satan's kingdom, or we're embracing his kingdom. Whose side are we truly on? All the way since creation, we've seen this war wait raging. In the Garden of Eden, Satan said to Eve, God hath not said, which was a lie, because God did say in the day you eat of it, you will surely die, and they did. So many people have bought into Satan's lie. Satan himself said, I will arise and be as God. And he was cast out of heaven and took a third of the angels with him. Satan is the prince in the power of the air that works in the children of disobedience. Christ said, Come unto me, all ye who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Satan offers the glimmer of the world and lust and power and materialism and money 
and everything that goes with it. The scripture tells us that the love of money is the root of all evil. So the war is waging, raging today more than probably any time in the history of mankind because Satan has been loose. And so we need to ask ourselves the question, whose side are we on? Are we on the side of Jesus Christ and eternal life? Or are we on the side of Satan and eternal death? Only God can reveal to us whose side we are on. All men were born and conceived in sin. This is a biblical fact. The only remedy for this sin is the eternal contract. Between the Father and the Son, the work Christ did do, dying on the cross, the work is finished too. A perfect sacrifice was Christ as he hung upon that tree, becoming my sin bearer, dying there for me. Born and conceived in sin, yes, that's also true for me, but... My sin was atoned for, and I was set free. Now I sing praises to my Lord and Savior, who granted me this loving, eternal favor. Yes, dying in my stead, even when I was born and conceived in sin, and the quickening Holy Spirit causing me to be born again. I now can joyfully sing to my Lord and King, who through his perfect sacrifice my eternal life did bring. Well, thought this morning is, Whose side are we on? You know, if we look toward the future with just our natural eyes, the future looks, looks dim, and we do it despised. But if we look to the future with spiritual eyes, there's nothing grander for us to surmise. Eternal life with Christ, I find a wonderful thought. Oh, what a glorious future for God's people he has wrought. All sorrows, tears, and sufferings will forever be gone, and in paradise with Christ my Savior I will forever live on. Time, what an empty vapor is. The sands of time will soon pass away, but eternity will always be. My soul cannot grasp this awesome truth to think I'll live forever. I'll live forever with my Savior who bore my sins upon the tree. From Christ my soul will never sever because he bled and died for me. Time, what an empty vapor is, but not for those for whom Christ died. For having been given eternal life will be forever at his side. Well, this morning let us examine whose side we are truly on. We're told that if we confess him before men, he will confess us before his heavenly Father, which is in heaven. God bless.